That is one pill looking rock. I've got to draw this. Pretty sure that's a nose, and those must be arms. <laughs> Don't worry, Bazooka Poodle. This creature can't even think about eating us right now. As long as there's daylight, it's just a rock. Of course, once the sun goes down, we're doomed. Now that the bell is on, I will draw it. A monster? Let's get out of here. What do you want from us? Thanks. Let's go, Bazooka Poodle. Squidward is waiting for us. SpongeBob, I've made us something. I am seriously appreciating the coziness in here right now. Ah, Dark Shroud. He always comes in here without knocking. It's rude. It's okay. He probably just wants to get warm. And besides, he brings us wood. It's drafty in here. You should really close that door. <laughs> now what? It's another one of those tiny letters. Good grief. This is the sixth one this week. Is it from the hidden people again? Yes, it is. Are they still saying we have to move and they're gonna smash our house and stuff? Apparently so. Who are these people? Well, they are Teddy and they do not like us very much. Well, I don't like them. Dear to them, it may concern. Please leave us alone. We are nice people, so please stop being mean. All the best, SpongeBob. Listen up, little guys, whoever you are. This one's for you. I can't read with all these distractions. Good night to you, too. Maybe that no will do the trick. Let's finish our game of Mary Monopoly. Is it my turn next or yours? Mine! Attention, residents! Due to your failure to heed our warnings, we shall now implement your forcible eviction from the premises. Forcible eviction now! That is the big boots! What the heck? All right, that's enough. Get out of here. They're gone. Squidward, there. Oh. SpongeBob, you can't stay here. And neither can I. Not if this crowd is gonna keep happening. It only happened once. True, but we've never been attacked like this. I think we'll have to move to Trover. But we've been here for all time, since I was born. Moving to Trover could be a good thing. You could make some proper friends. Would that be nice? No way. I love it here in the wilderness. It's literally the best place ever. Please, Squidward, I don't want to live in the dirty old caddy. I'm sorry, but if one more thing like this happens, we're gone. Dear little guys who trash my house, why are you so mad at me and Squidward? Please tell me so I can fix it and we can all live in peace. All the best, SpongeBob. I hope they're not too mad to even read my note. Let's go to bed and get some rest. We'll clean all this up tomorrow. Psst, SpongeBob. Yes, who's there? I'm one of the little people who trashed your house. Get out, now. Oh, the trashing wasn't done by me personally. I'm more of a writer than a fighter. Did you read my note? Indeed. Wait, am I dreaming because you sound like you're just a voice inside my head? Nope, 
Not at all. So, why the heck won't you show yourself? Oh, my people take the business of who sees them and who doesn't very seriously, which means, of course, that there is a lot of paperwork involved. What kind of paperwork? If you'll just go over to your desk, please. I took the liberty of filling out the relevant papers for you. I'm pretty sure you'll find the forgery quite impressive. Indeed. Now, if you'll sign this last page yourself, we'll be all set. I hope it's not some kind of trick. There. Now, where are you? Look in the mirror, please. I still don't see you. I'm on your head, peekaboo. You're very, very small. MM, I'm on the tall side for a guy, actually, so, my name is Profile Picture, but you can call me properly. It's nice to finally see you, Profile. It's nice to be seen. Now, if you'll come outside with me, there's something I would like to show you. Wow, this is amazing! Careful there, Bazooka Poodle. Have these been here all the time, and I just couldn't see them. Correct. What the heck? Careful with that. Because somebody lives there, you know. <laughs> yeah, oops, indeed. Listen, SpongeBob, behavior like that won't endear you to Tiny Dude kind if I'm not mistaken. Sorry about that. Go jump off a cliff and seriously destroy yourself. How many houses are there and how far does this go? I dare say as far as the eye can see. There's 15 counties in this valley by itself, and unfortunately, your house is smack in the middle of my one. But why get me now Uncle Grandpa built that house? Besides, I've lived here all my life, and under no circumstance has there been any bother. Well, it's the new Prime Minister. He promised to get rid of you if he was elected, and, grunts, now that he has been, he has to see to it that he does. But that's not fair. We're all allowed to lay you as much as you are. Don't shout at me. I agree. And besides, if you weren't so sniffy about who sees you and who doesn't, then maybe Uncle Grant would have chosen somewhere a bit less populated. It's an important tradition of my people to be sniffy about it. So take me to the Prime Minister place. Maybe I can explain things to him and fix this before Squidward moves us to Trollberg. For one thing, it's the middle of the night. And, for another, you can't simply request a meeting to go and say, hello. But I'm the giant sponge, so... The mayor. I'll arrange a meeting with mayor of the town your house is currently occupying. Perhaps he can help us with the prime minister. Well, okay, but... Got to dash now. I'll come for you tomorrow. Good night, SpongeBob. What the heck? Squidward isn't gonna like this thing. Remember, allow me to handle the introductions. I know the protocol. Honorable Mayor Stubborn, may I have the pleasure of... Barnacles, I know who you are. The big fat Mimi, the dumb fat monster. Oh, dear Neptune. Oh, so, you can see us. Can you? Finally noticed us. Did you? Mocking. Ooh, I'm so darn scared. Are you really that dumb? Let me ask you something. How the heck could I notice you if I couldn't see you? Spongeboob, the forms are very straightforward. And where was I supposed to get these darn forms? Fortunately, the forms are widely available. The important thing is that all the forms have now been filled, so... We've had enough of her ruthless occupation of our historic city, haven't we? Angelina? Ooh, yes, we have. We have, haven't we? But there's nothing ruthless about it. We didn't know you even existed until recently. Pure ignorance and weird. You're invisible. Please, please. Can you lower your voice for goodness sakes? You're alarming my cat. Well, look, I'm sorry about that, but please, don't if it does. Can't we just get along? Angelina's heavily pregnant. I don't want her unnecessarily stressed. She's a purebred Valorian silker. Can you get Angelina's basket, please? Sure thing, Mr. Mayor Stubborn. Do you need to lie down? Yes, you look the way I feel. That doesn't answer my questions. Wait, are you still here? Look, well, wheels are in motion, plans are in place, letters are being sent, and forms are being filled in. Lots of forms. But surely you can stop it. You're the mayor. Correction, I'm only the mayor. It's out of my hands. So whose hand is it in? 
I imagine the only person who could do anything about it is the new prime minister. It's his big idea, after all. Where can I find him? I can't tell you that. It's classified information if I'm not mistaken. Tell me, please. No, I. Oh my goodness, Angelina. Oh, you selfish robot. Release her, please. First of all, I'm not a robot. Second of all, tell me where the Prime Minister is, or I'll let your kitty live inside me for two whole months. All right, fine. Behind the waterfall, the great big one that goes into the fjord. I know where that is. Oh, thank goodness. The basket, Mayor Stubborn. Oh, there, Angelina, there. Are you all right? I'm going straight to the Prime Minister right now. There it is. Let's go. Ow! Oh, a rabbit! Looks like you took a tumble, poor little thing. Ah, uh, it's not just a rabbit. Really? It's the Prime Minister's cavalry. Implement giant sponge defense yeah. maneuvers. Charge. Oh my goodness, I'm on fire. Uh, oh my goodness, we should get out of here. Yeah, SpongeBob and that Google thingy is on to us. Thanks for that, Bazooka Poodle. It's nice to have a poodle on your side, I must say. 
This is the most obnoxious thing I've ever experienced in my life. Boom. Here we are. Our training is complete. We're now ready to launch our next attack this evening. So stubborn. Not so fast. <laughs> to explain myself. Uh, well, in the case, everybody be seated, please. I want to find a way we can all live together in peace. I love my home, and I don't want to leave it. Well, that's, uh, interesting. Look, I'll be honest with you. I only said I'd get rid of you because I knew I'd get elected if I did. Fortunately, it's nothing personal. Here, here. Do you really all dislike Squidward and me that much? Yes. Indeed. You must understand that the lights from your house are unfortunately much too bright at night. For the record, I don't dislike you even a little bit. Annoyance, sometimes, yes, but never, never disliked. You're very gosh darn loud. You keep babies up, and not to mention you're always stepping on us. What are you talking about? Stepping on you doesn't hurt you if you haven't signed the forms. Heck, I saw Bazooka Poodles let go right through the house. I see your point. Still, it's a traumatic experience having a giant foot come through your ceilings. Okay, I get it, I do. What if we can turn off our lights earlier and keep our voices down? And if we get Squidward to sign the forms, then everything should be fine, right? That would work. But unfortunately, it's not quite as simple as that. It's not. Your house, you and that octopus guy, since anyone can remember, have been considered sworn enemies of the king. Yes, yes. Sworn enemies of the king. This is the most obnoxious thing I've ever experienced in my life. Speaking of which, no one's ever bothered to try and do anything about it until me. And I'm afraid to say that fixing the situation at this point is, um... Out of your hands. Yes. I can't believe you used your common sense about that. Spongebob, wait. <laughs> Prof Ali, if I was to ask you to tell me where the king lives, would you tell me or is it out of the question? That would violate every protocol. I totally understand. On second thought, yes, I'll take you. You will? I will, but unfortunately for me, it's a tough journey. I'll need time to prepare. We can leave the day after tomorrow at sunrise. Thank you, Prof Ali. No problem at all. It's actually closer to home than you might think. <laughs>